Today, we will be developing our first dial application using the dial deployment package with a self-hosted model from Olama. For instructions on how to install and deploy dial, please refer to the chat with the self-hosted model tutorial in the documentation, or check out part one of this video series. Today, we'll add our sample echo application to our dial config, then take it a step further by building a simple translator application using open source AI models. We'll assume you have Git, Docker, Python, and PyCharm installed on your machine and already have Dial working with an open source chat model of your choice. To start, we'll grab our SDK examples repository. If you already have the main repository cloned, you can use Git submodules to get the Dial SDK examples folder working. Let's open up the project folder for Echo in PyCharm. Trust the project, select the right interpreter, and give it a few minutes to set up the environment. When it's ready, let's just run the application. We can see it's running on localhost port 5000. Next, we'll add this echo application to our dial config. Since we'll be using the Olama Docker Compose file, we'll navigate to the Olama Docker folder, switch to the core folder, and open up this config.json. Your dial config may be located in a different location and may or may not already have the applications block defined. If it does, just add the config for the echo application to that section. Otherwise, add the entire applications block. Because we're running Docker on Windows, we'll replace the application's hostname with host.docker.internal in our dial config. Docker networking is largely OS and configuration dependent and outside the scope of this video, but the general idea is that for this to work, we need to grant access to a port running on the machine's localhost to Docker's internal network. Finally, we need to add the Echo application to the default role, so our user has access to it. Now, when we use this Docker Compose to restart Dial with Olama, we will see an application available to talk to in our Dial instance running on localhost port 3000. Feel free to test out the very simple Echo application. Now that we've added a simple sample application, let's try the exciting part. We'll turn our Echo application example into something that uses AI for real. I want the simple application to translate everything I send it into Spanish. Note that Dial's unified API is backward compatible with OpenAI's, so we can use OpenAI's SDK in native Dial applications. This also allows us to work with Langchain or any other code that implements their completions API. There are several examples of ways to call the text-to-text -text Dial applications programmatically, but for now, let's just use OpenAI's Python SDK. We'll add OpenAI's SDK to our requirements.txt file and import it into our application. Next, we'll add the OpenAI client to the application. By default, Dial Core is deployed on localhost port 8080. Let's confirm this by checking the Docker Compose files, for example. We'll get the model name of our chat model and our Dial API key from our Dial Core config and keep the OpenAI API version from the documentation. If you don't have access to the config of the environment you are working with, you just have an API key, you can also use the listings API to retrieve information about all available models and applications in your environment. Let's use the non-streaming example for now and just add our request to translate the prompt into the content of the user message that we send to the model. If we wanted to, we could easily rename or add this application as a new one tinker with the description, change the running ports, and modify permissions in our dial config. But in the interest of brevity, let's just keep the configuration as is. The Echo will now ask the LLM to mirror your prompt back to you in Spanish. Since we already have it configured in the dial core config, all we need to do is rerun the Python application and the internal logic of this application changes from the simple Echo to a translator without any necessary changes to the dial core configuration. Congratulations, you have built and deployed your first dial application with an open source model. While this example dial deployment only has one chat model in its config, I'd like to briefly mention how easy Dial's unified API makes it to change models from within your applications without needing to learn multiple SDKs or APIs. Keep an eye out for more videos for developers where we will dive into some more complex topics like our Talk to Your Data framework or Langchain application development as well as features of Dial Core, like telemetry and cost control, collecting logs for all models and applications in a unified format, and much, much more. Thank you.